Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, we're going to keep working on the River Arts Cafe small business website as we get closer to finishing up the desktop version. Okay, so this is where we stand, and we've styled pretty much everything on the desktop version of this web page. The only thing left is really the footer. Here's what the finished website should look like for the most part. And we've already taken care of the header with nav and headline, the paragraph with leading text and uh, food image, background image of the cafe, promo items are styled. Now we just have to work on this footer, which really there's not a lot to. So our version, we've already got the text, we just need to take care of the styling. So to the style sheet we go. And we're dealing with our footer. And my footer is actually going to have the same background color as the header. Ooh, I'll even take that padding too while I'm there. So I'm going to copy both of those rules, pop them right on so we take care of that. And a few other things that I will do, I'm going to do a, a text align center. And let's go ahead and uh, actually let's make the font size just a bit smaller too. We'll see how that looks. I'll do a point size for font size there. Change my padding to 10 though, because I think I use 10 pretty much everywhere else. You know, a, lot of, a lot of 10 PXs. Let's save this and refresh. And there we go. That looks pretty good. And if we go back to our original, yeah, we're pretty spot on. So clearly not a lot to styling that, that footer. And we'll go ahead and consider this page complete for the desktop version. It's a 960 width, 960 pixel width. And we can kind of see that it's a fixed width because as my site expands, we just get more margin space on the left and the right. Next order of business, um, let's go ahead and do the print version. So if a user were to print this page out, it would look a little bit more friendly to them and they don't get a printout of things they don't need. 